Hi, welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general love and life reading for Leo. You could have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Leo and cross watchers, please keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And, of course, roles can be reversed. Um, what that means is this could be something you know that you're doing, Leo, or going on around you. This could be something your person is doing in any capacity that you're dealing with. Um, something that they're doing or going through or going on around them. This could be, you know, a family member, friend, coworker, boss, neighbor even. Something that they're going through um, or going on around them as well. So keep that in mind. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is in the description box below. I'm still offering the 50% off on all private personal readings. I have one slot left for the month of May. Okay. And before I start um, booking for June, um, and I'm that that's when the sale is going to be over is in June. But I am going to add in different, um, you know, personal readings options for you guys as well. Um, also, I will have the um, June schedule out for Freebie Friday and um, any also like all signs readings, live streams and things like that, hopefully by next week. So I just got to go through my calendar and things like that. So be on the lookout for that. Also, if there's going to be an extended to this reading, the link to that will be in the description box below and in the comments section below. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to do um, Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces. So stick around, excuse me, for that. What else? Check out your birth chart and compare it to any of the different transits we got going on right now, okay? Also, hmm. Interesting. Okay. This could be something from your past coming back around. Something currently going on or something coming towards you in the future. And it can definitely be, you know, anyone that you're thinking of and, you know, maybe you're not even dealing with this person anymore. I don't know. Um, we're going to look at the, uh, well, my readings can tend to be future predictive, so keep that in mind. We're going to look at the current situation, the root cause. The influences, your side, their side, in you know, in any capacity, also the universe, spirit, um, the divine, your ancestors, their ancestors, okay? Um, we're also going to look at the immediate recent past, three months or less, the immediate near future, three months or less, how you feel about the situation and how you maybe have contributed to the situation and the person that you are dealing with and or thinking of, um, how they feel about the situation and or anything maybe they contributed to the situation, okay? All right. Spirit, please show me Leo. What's going on for Leo, please? In love and in life. What's going on for Leo, please? In love and in life. Okay. Show me Leo currently. Show me what's going on for Leo in love and life, please. Show me Leo, please. What's going on for Leo? Okay. We have the Will of Fortune. And we have the Lovers. Okay. What is the root cause of this? Okay. Ten of Pentacles. What's the influences here? Okay, the Page of Swords in the reverse. What's influencing this? Okay. What is the recent past three months or less? The Emperor reverse. Aries. Um, so we got Sagittarius with the will of fortune plus all the fixed signs which you are a fixed sign so we got leo taurus uh, scorpio and aquarius we got gemini which is or the lovers which is gemini we have ten of pentacles which is virgo capricorn the page of swords in the reverse which is gemini libra and the recent past we got the emperor reverse which is uh aries taurus leo What about the immediate near future for Leo? Three months or less. King of Pentacles in the upright. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. How does Leo feel about the situation and or what actions Leo, Leo contributed to? We have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Taurus. 
and five of pentacles reverse okay more taurus energy okay the person that you're dealing with and or person on your mind how do they feel about the situation mm, queen of wands reverse aries leo sagittarius how else do they feel about the situation leo three of swords okay bottom of the deck we have the the moon card and the ten of cups secret marriage or secret family or going back to a secret family mm -hmm. okay well so let me ask if this is you or somebody else. Let me just go and ask that. Is Leo the one doing this? Is this reading about Leo? Or about their person? Well, let's see. Is it about Leo? Is Leo the one who's doing this? So let me ask something else. Okay. How do what do I want to ask? Hmm. Does Leo have a choice in love? Does Leo have a choice in love? Affirmative. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, no doubt. Okay, so Leo, this looks like this is about you. Obviously, could take it as it resonates. And it could also, you know, maybe it's your person too. But I got to go with what Spirit is telling me. So, Leo, you got yourself into a little bit of a conundrum here. Currently, there's karma coming because of some because you have another you have a choice between two people. You are you need to make a choice regarding love. You have Adam, Eve, Archangel Gabriel, and then you have the snake. This is like the Garden of Eden. There is very much a temptation here. And Archangel Gabriel, which is the one who's the messenger of the divine or God or however you want to take it, is coming down to deliver a message to you. The universe is also delivering a message to you. Now that can talk about good luck. It can also talk about karma. But whether it's in the upper in in, in the reverse, it does talk about karma. Saturn energy, also Jupiter energy. It looks like here that you realize, here's the deal. You're not the arbiter of karma here, Leo. I'm sorry, you're not. You feel like what you're doing is correct. You feel having another option in love is correct way to do something. Mm -mm. You feel like you are the arbiter of karma. You feel like you are the one who is delivering somebody their just desserts here's a problem when you do that and i know firsthand okay when you do that that's when it comes back on you so it's going to end up costing you more than what you want okay then you also have the the ten of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck or the at the root cause here you have the ten of pentacles this talks about ancestors. This talks about longevity. This talks about long-term commitment and stability and growth. Your ancestors are watching this. Mm -hmm. They are watching this. If you think you're getting away with something, you're not. With the page of swords here in the reverse, you may be lying to someone. Mm -hmm. This talks about malicious gossip, lies, and deception. Mm -hmm. Also, you also feel like not saying something or not communicating or opening up to your person. Because I feel like you have a main person here. I feel like you are committed here. Okay? You have a main person here. And you also have somebody else. I mean, again, it can be reversed, but I have to read it. And I asked the question. It said, yes, this is you. Um, so it won't be for everybody, obviously. And remember, Leo, from Aries to Pisces, every single zodiac sign 
okay it has a good bad it has a good side a bad side and an ugly side and i'm not saying this is an ugly side this is not the best this is not the most favorable side okay of leo you have you are straight up lying to someone straight up lying to them but what you're also doing is you're not communicating with them so you don't have to lie you're not opening up to the person emotionally mentally spiritually you're not opening up or maybe even you know sexually to this person because that way you don't have to lie so it's like you're lying via omission is what you're doing you're lying via omission lying via omission doesn't mean you're not lying it just means you're you're not telling somebody something in order to cover your own ass basically you're not saying the truth but you're not necessarily lying you're not well you are lying because you're not telling the truth you're not saying the truth but in whomever I'm reading for it, it may be in your mind that you feel like you're not lying to somebody because you're just not telling them about it so you're keeping secrets and you're betraying them you do have another option now in the recent past the the Emperor reverse okay Aries Taurus Leo energy is somebody who one is a bit of a bully very controlling and who doesn't want to really be committed this is when it's in the upright is the husband or you know the strong CEO and boss this is somebody here who does not act you know like they're committed does not act like they are in a relationship and or married because this can talk about marriage too now for some of you for some of you on the flip side of this this could mean that you are moving forward to who you actually feel is your true partner okay and staying committed to that person but, in, but you're not being honest about something you're not speaking on something you're not telling somebody the truth mm -mm. and I'm gonna tell you right now if you're dealing with any of the other fixed signs like another Leo um, an Aquarius a Taurus or Scorpio especially Taurus and especially Scorpio you they find out especially Scorpio that you're lying to them I heard again yeah it's not gonna be good <laughs> it's not gonna be good because in the near future you have the king of Pentacles now this is another husband card male or female doesn't matter if this is another husband card this is someone who's very wants what they want they get what they want they focus on their money they focus on their back they focus on their own stability here but it's not the Emperor it's close to an Emperor it's the one but underneath it but it's not it's not the Emperor yet okay how you feel about the situation with the nine of Pentacles reverse is that you are you feel like you're being disloyal here but yet you don't want to leave somebody out in the cold either or there's somebody here from your past that wants to come back around and come back into your life be careful with that because here's my take on it take it for what it is chuck it in the fucking bucket if you want but here's my take exes are exes for a reason a reason if you are were no longer with that person and or no longer married to that person from your past that's a good reason for that there's a good reason for that see for me personally I don't stay friends with exes mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's bad enough for me to leave it's bad enough for me to keep this person out of my life yeah mm-hmm you do what you want but you feel like you're being disloyal you feel like you're being disloyal mm -hmm. yep and then here how your person feels Leo oh they're mad oh well, they're big mad your person is big mad they're very hurt they feel betrayed by you now even though this is fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius sometimes that can also be Scorpio and with the Queen of Swords can also for me be Scorpio too but it doesn't have to be they feel very betrayed and heartbroken by you Aries Leo Sagittarius they want they want revenge that yeah, yeah they do and to be honest with you it kind of looks justified it looks justified for the heartbreak that was caused and the lack of accountability someone doing only looking out for themselves and their own best interests here in the recent past three months or less and doing whatever they felt 
they wanted to do and didn't matter to the other person at all. Mm -mm, it didn't. Let me clarify this. Show me this Wheel of Fortune here. Let me get another shuffle. All right, let's clarify this spirit. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. Why is that here, please? For Leo. Queen of Wands reverse again. Leo, I'm going to be honest with you. You and your person are both in the same energy. You feel justified in doing this because you feel like they deserve it. They don't feel like they deserve it. You're trying to get revenge on them and they're trying to get revenge on you. That's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. you're being a bit of a bully here and you're coming from a place of vindictiveness okay that's that's leo energy okay what is this lovers about you want revenge yeah three of pentacles in the upright you could have a lover on the side possibly at work that you are trying to doesn't have to be at work, but it can be. Or I'm also hearing online. You are talking to somebody online. You are maybe dating somebody online or emotional cheating, something like that. And you feel like you're trying to get on the same page with that person. Meanwhile, you have somebody else. At home. So I just heard you have them at home. You are very well committed. But you're not acting committed. You are actually trying to remain silent and not open up not emotionally connect not emotionally you know be vulnerable because you don't want to accidentally slip up and reveal the secret show me the ten of pentacles at the root cause of this seven of cups in the hangman you're confused and the reason you're stuck here you're stuck in this situation is by your own doing. You're stuck because of you. You're stuck and confused about who and what it is that you want because you, you feel trapped. You are confused and trapped and feel, feel trapped in a connection or a commitment because you have somebody else. Mm -hmm. Possibly at work. That could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius like yourself. Some Moon, Rising, Venus doesn't matter. You got Pisces and Scorpio showing up here. You've got a lot of choices here. And you are dragging your feet and making it. And you are you have lack of direction. You are not lack of direction, and you need to get a new perspective here. You're confused because of you, because you decided to entertain somebody else and you decided to lie to someone. That is on you. Now, before you come at me in the comment section, please know I block very generously. And I have no problems with doing so, just so you know. No problems with doing that at all. I got to give the messages as they're given to me from spirit. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear, what you think you want to hear. I'm not a two-bit charlatan. I'm just here to make money off of you. I got to give the messages as they're given to me from spirit. Take it or leave it, okay? Mm -hmm. There is a need for you to do some very deep diving self evaluation basically check yourself before you wreck yourself here because you are lying you're not telling your person that you're with you're not telling the whole truth mm -mm. and you're also not opening up and communicating because you don't want to accidentally slip up and spill the beans you're not communicating because of that mm. yeah look two of swords page of swords you have divided loyalties. You have a choice between two romantic partners. Libra energy as well. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to accidentally slip up and say that you have a choice between two people. Was this Emperor in reverse in the recent past? Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse. If you are a masculine Leo, this is you. You are straight up lying. Yeah. You're telling people maybe in the recent past that you were not communicating you are that you were not married or committed or in a relationship you're very defensive this is also someone who can be a bit of a player 
you were being a player. If you're a masculine Leo, if you're a feminine Leo, you're being a playette. Same thing applies. And also for some of you, for some of you, this could be an ex lover as well from your past, like your past past. Show me this King of Pentacles in the near future. The star. It's going to be seen. Mm -hmm. Star. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius energy now. In the near future, you're going to have hope here. And you're going to try to heal the situation with somebody. Tell me more about the near future. But they're going to be very close off to you. Because they're going to find, you're going to have a lot of regret. You're going to have regrets here. Okay. I am not the channel where I promote third parties. I don't. It rarely over here, if ever, it comes out where it actually ever comes together and actually work out between two people who are having an affair. Mm -mm. Because that's not, that's not, mm -mm. I don't glorify that kind of shit over here. That's not how it operates in real life and that's not how my guides operate. Mm -mm. Rarely does it ever come together and rarely does it ever work out. The statistics on that is very, very, very low. You're going to feel like this is the best thing to slice bread for you in the near future. But if you decide to leave your your partner now to go towards somebody else, you may feel like it's the best thing you've ever done. However, very quickly in the near future, you're going to realize mm -mm, you're going to have regrets. That's about regrets because of being uh, under an illusion. Mm -hmm. How you feel? You feel like you're being disloyal because it looks like you went to somebody back. In the past here could very strongly be a Taurus, but doesn't have to be. Show me this um Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Ace of Swords reverse. You're lying. You're lying about a Taurus and you're lying about your loyalty. Where does your loyalty lie here, Leo? Okay, I gotta call you out on some stuff now. Show me the yeah, page of pentacles reverse. You feel um very irresponsible that is very irresponsible the big lie the ace of swords reverse for me is the big lie what is the big lie about letting go you might have told this third party that you were letting go of your person that you're currently with that may be true at some point because i see you regretting that decision you may do that but you weren't being honest with them you're not also not being honest with the third party either tell me more about the lie yeah mental activity you think you're getting away with something there's big changes coming in arrivals and departures for you you are communicating with a lot of people and here's the here's the deal you there might be an aquarius involved some way somehow and they're coming in very very quickly to deliver some truth to you i just heard they know they know very clearly yeah and you may want this person to forgive you or take you back and they're gonna uh -uh. not this time how your person feels, Queen of, Queen of Wands reverse, they feel hurt, they feel upset, they feel maybe jealous, they feel betrayed, maybe even vindictive. Show me the Queen of Wands reverse. Yep, but they're walking away. When they find this out here, Leo, they're gone for good. And I feel like you know that, and that's why you're lying and being a player and not opening up and not talking with your person and not being vulnerable with them because you don't want to accidentally spill the beans. That's why. Show me the three of swords here, please. Yep, nine of cups reversed. This person is going to realize that you betrayed them one too many times. They forgave you one too many times. And they're going to walk away and then you move towards this third party when they, your person's going to walk away and they're going to say, they're going to talk, they're going to take the L. Your person's going to take the L. Okay. And then you're going to go towards this third party thinking it's your wish fulfillment and everything. And then quickly realize you're going to have massive regrets here. Big time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let me get this. Tell me more about. Show me. Show me Leo's energy. I hate to say this, but you're gonna regret this decision. 
change. Mm -hmm. Big changes are coming. Mm -hmm. And because you're going to regret this decision, you're going to, looks like you're going to want to come back. And, mm -mm. yep, romance, big changes in romance here. Mm -hmm. The guide, king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Scorpio here. Because here's what's going to happen. That person is going to move on eventually after they heal. And they're going to find somebody who really loves them. The advisor, King of Swords. Now, if you're a woman, you got a choice between a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong Scorpio, strong Aquarius here. Also, too, your person, if you're a masculine Leo, your person knows. And not only do they know, but... They are also talking to an advisor. This can also be an attorney. If you're married, they're talking to an attorney currently, or they're about to very soon. Mm hmm. Any more? Yep, official things. They're talking to an attorney. Mm hmm. Yep, the authority figure that could also be like a judge, King of Wands. You feel this is your energy here, Leo, as well. You feel like you were the end all be all, and that you would never be caught, and you would never be found out here. But you are being found out. Your person is being guided by their ancestors, their spirit guides, their spiritual team to talk to an attorney officially. To go and talk to a lawyer, go talk to somebody or whatever, official things to be properly advised. Mm -hmm. Yep. Their, their spirit is communicating to them with ideas and gifts. Through their intuition their spiritual gifts here and speaking the truth that's the truth there right that they need to have a new beginning and that they are going to be moving homes very soon because they're about to figure it out yep they're receiving the news they're sitting back and receiving the news the very painful news that the reason why and i'm hearing that with the five of swords that y'all have been fighting is because i'm sorry leo this looks like it's you remember it's, affirm it's affirmative that they're saying that it's you, masculine or feminine, that you have been cheating. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you will experience a massive loss. Five of, five of cups, five of hearts that you will end up regretting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Forewarned is forearmed, right? So, if you haven't actually engaged with this person, if you haven't even met this third-party person yet, be aware. If you're saying, oh, Juju, I would never do that. I'm I'm never going to do that. Be careful with that, too. When people, when people say they will never do something, they are more susceptible to do the thing that they said that they would never do. I learned that in therapy, actually. Mm-hmm. They're more susceptible to doing that. Never say never. That's where that that's that's why the saying's there. Never say never, because you very well could do it. Mm -hmm. Don't stand so high and mighty in self righteousness and believe that you would never do something like that, because it looks like that's exactly what you're doing. And when your person finds out, they're gone. They're out. They're out. They're out. So, in the extended, I want to see what's... You're going to end up regretting it. You're going to end up regretting it. Mm hmm So, be careful what you wish for, right? Be careful what you wish for because you're going to end up, you know, you might just end up getting it. Also, be mindful of your words because... And I don't mean like so you can keep a lie. But be mindful of the hurt that you cause somebody because that will come back to you as well. How... How you treat other people is your karma and yourself. How you treat other people and yourself is your karma. How people uh, react to you and how they treat themselves is their karma. Basically. Let me see. Any love messages here for Leo? And then I'm going to, well, let me, 
I'm gonna do this. Give you all signs. Spirit, please show me uh, Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs. So in the extended, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen here with you and the third party and you and the main person. And I'm gonna get, um, you know, uh, the T and a potential outcome, okay? So we'll look at you, Leo, the third party. We'll also look at you and your person, okay? How you feel about them and how they feel about you. So basically two you versus them and a potential outcome. And I'm going to get the T. Okay. All right. Show me Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs. Aries, two Pisces. Here we go. So if you're dealing with an Aries, they are all tangled up and they feel powerless in this situation. They don't know what to do. They're really stuck in their head about what to do about you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, crossroads, choice, multiple options, turning point, and indecisive. This um, Taurus doesn't know what to do about you. They feel like they're at a crossroads. They don't know who or what to choose. Or they feel that way that you have a choice to make about them. Between them and somebody else. If you're dealing with a Gemini, we got signs and synchronicities, coincidence, signal, hint, message from the universe. This Gemini is receiving a lot of communication from the universe about what to do in this situation. If you're dealing with a, um, a Cancer, we got wedding, marriage forever, the union or the one in the union. You may want to marry a Cancer or a Cancer may want to marry you or you are married. Intuition, gut feeling, psychic, premonition, sixth sense. There is a Cancer out there that might be a reader like myself who wants to marry you or there is a Cancer out there who is getting tarot readings on your marriage and they could be the third party. Tell me more. Yeah, friends. Acquaintance, trust, support, and loyalty. Yeah, this person who is getting readings on your marriage or your connection and or you're married to them, I don't know. They were a friend of yours and or your partners. And they are literally looking. What they're seeing in these readings is that you maybe want to stay loyal to either to them, to them or to somebody else. Mm-hmm. All right, if you are dealing with another Leo or this is you, you want to be single, alone, isolation, lonely, and guarded. Yeah, you are, you're guarding the secret that you want to be single and that you're acting single. Or if you're dealing with another Leo, remember, if you're dealing with another Leo, the roles can be reversed, okay? Or another fire sign. All right, Virgo, relationship, commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend. This Virgo wants a relationship with you, wants to be committed to you, or they are committed to you, or they want the same thing from you. Uh, between the lines, hidden, meaning, vague, speculate, and implicit. So this this Virgo feels like you're hiding something from them. Hiding possibly a relationship. There's blurred lines here. If you're dealing with a Libra, we have proposal, love, offer, engagement, agreement, wish, come true. So there, you might get proposed from a Libra. Or you want to propose to a Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, home, comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. You feel at home with the Scorpio. Okay. Okay, addiction, toxic attachments, drugs, alcohol, and obsession for Sagittarius. You may feel addicted to a Sagittarius. Or you might go out and have a lot of drinks with the Sagittarius. Or you are quite literally, that this Sagittarius has a toxic attachment. They may have drug addictions, or maybe you do. I don't know. Um, they, You have an obsession with them, and they have an obsession with you. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Divine timing. Wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, waiting. Yeah, you got a Sagittarius who's addicted and obsessed with you, and you are with them. You're telling them it's not the right in divine timing. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the grass is greener. Jealousy, better option, unhappy, deserve better. You, here's the deal. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're cheating on you, or you are cheating on them, or this Capricorn is also maybe a third party, and they're very, very, very jealous. Tell me more. Yeah, regret. Mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. This Capricorn regrets um, being the, your third party to your connection or they feel like you're cheating on them. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, we got reconciliation, reunion, second chance, back together, I miss you. Okay, so there's an Aquarius that wants to reconcile with you or you want to reconcile with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, we got storm warning, upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, and drama. There's going to be one hell of a blowout with a Pisces here. A lot of drama, right? Because of family, generations, children, ancestors, and origin. there, There's a Pisces. If you're married and you have a third party that's a Pisces, they are literally going to try to blow up your family. Not like literally, but I mean like metaphorically, like blow up your spot and then destroy your family life. 
Yeah, because they feel like the two of you have unfinished business. Yeah. You need to surrender to the divine before you get humbled by the divine. <laughs> and that's not fun. And you need to be honest. Because if your person has to find out, I'm telling you now, if your person finds out on their own, it's going to be way worse. Way worse. So, you got a choice to make here, Leo. Oof. Alright. Who are you dealing with? Alright, who is Leo potentially dealing with regarding this reading? Virgo. Yourself, Leo. Or another Leo. Cancer. Sagittarius. Libra. Pisces. Scorpio. So you can be on a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and Virgo. So I'm in Rising Venus, your chart, their chart combination of the two. All right, let's see. Scroll tiles. All right. So this could be first, middle, last initial of your name. Your person's name, third party's name. Also, too, um, any additional messages? Wait, before I even do that, they want me to get an evil eye oracle. Because I feel like you're mean mugging, you're mean, mean mugging your person. You're giving them, like, the stank eye. Okay? You are. You're trying to block them out. I want to, so cross watchers, if you're here, this will be for you. Because I feel like you are ignoring them or you're shutting them out and you're kind of just like being aloof and kind of mean and cruel. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Show me how does Leo feel about their, their main person causing unexplained body pains and numbness. You're hurting your person. You see that doll right there? What that is? Mm -hmm. Or you're paying for someone to do this against your person? Do magic on them? Tap into your intuition. You already know who this person is. Cross watchers, you listen. Cross watchers dealing with the Leo, you already know who this person is, and they are sending you the evil eye. They could even be doing magic on you or paying someone to do magic on you. Putting negative thoughts in your head. That is what this Leo is trying to do. They're they're implanting negative thoughts in your head about you. And also, a third party is implanting negative thoughts about you in the Leo's head. And they're allowing it. We got Tiger's Eye. Helps with grounding, protection, self-confidence, inner strength, willpower, and clarity. That's what you need to do, Cross Watchers, is you need to carry some Tiger's Eye or wear Tiger's Eye. For grounding and protection. Blocked. So, Cross Watchers, um, this Leo is trying to block your um, crown shocker from you getting divine inspiration, divine wisdom from the situation. Tell me more. Yeah, blackmail. Digging up dirt on you to use later. So this Leo is trying to dig up dirt on you to try to use later. Possibly. Tell me more. What else is this Leo doing to the cross watcher? Um, sleep paralysis. Dark entities or demons hold your physical body down while you dream. So this Leo is doing some pretty nasty shit to try to block you from seeing the truth of the situation you need to put salt around your bed cross watchers and causing you to feel paranoid living fear that's what they're trying to do so that way it's plausible deniability right leo i'm sorry if you, unless you're unless you're dealing with another leo leo or another fire sign aries leo sagittarius then roles may be reversed there but I don't feel like you are, but you could be. Whomever you're you're doing this to, um, yeah, not cool. All right, here we go. First, middle, last initial, your name, third party's name, your person's name, also additional messages, also anyone who could possibly know about the situation. Tell me, Leo. Okay, let me turn them over. Okay. We have... M, A, N, D, I, C, B, O, S, Y, A, 
F, C, A, Y, P, A, U. Guidance. Guidance, please, here for Leo. Nothing will come of the situation with a third party. It's not going to go the way that you think, Leo. It's just not. It's not. They said no more guidance. Mm -mm. You're too confident in your ability to deceive somebody else. It's not going to work. The universe isn't going to let it go for on forever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So that has been your reading. The link to the extended will be in the description box below. I'm going to do a you, Leo, versus the third party. I'm going to do a you, Leo, versus your main person. See how you feel about both of that. I'm going to get the T on all the situation. You and I'm going to get the T on you and the third party. And then I'm also going to get a potential outcome, and we'll go from there. The link to that, again, is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications. Um, and, you know... That way, you know, the next time I upload, basically, Leo here, you knew better, you know, you know, know better, do better, right? It has a price, okay? All right, well, I love you so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.